Hello, everybody. How you doing? Welcome to Bruising Blades on this July 28th of 2019. Let me uh, pull up the chat here so I can see what y'all are saying. And there we go. Google told you an accurate times. So I apologize. How's everybody doing? Very good to see everybody. Uh, I am not drinking uh, beer tonight. I am drinking cider. I actually like cider sometimes. Got this uh, rootstock stuff. They actually sell it right on the corner store. It's pretty good. It is from uh, Williamson, New York. I actually did a, I can't remember the name of the town. I actually did a gig at this place once at their, uh, at their uh, little, do they call them breweries? Cidery? I think they call them cideries. I don't know. Did a comedy gig there once. It was a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to crack this one open. It's a pretty light one. It's not like a super sweet or anything. So yeah, tonight we're going to have a bit of a theme. I'm going to try and keep things budget focused. I'm sure that won't go 100%. I know it won't because there's one I do want to show you um, that's not budget. Um, because for the next two weeks, like I said, I'm going to try and keep the channel a little bit more budget oriented. Uh... Smoky Mountain Knife Works sent me some cool budget stuff, and also uh, I'm just going to bust out some of my own budget stuff, some uh, reviews that I've had in the can for a while of budget stuff that I haven't used. So for the next couple of weeks, going to keep it kind of budget oriented, with a few exceptions because there are some uh, more expensive knives that I that are time critical that I have to get out, you know, because they're about to be released or something like that. So uh, yeah. Um, Thank you, Jocks. I'm glad you enjoyed the bird review. I really like this knife. It's pretty cool. I wish it was one of the BD1 ones, but other than that, I, I do really like it. It's a very handy little thing. I've enjoyed having it around. One I'll definitely hold on to for a while. Hello, Zach. How's it going, man? Good to have you on here. Um, he smoking my knife or skip McKenna so I can grab one in August. Yeah, they don't seem to get the Civivi super quick. They get all of them, but they don't get them super quick. I think they did have the McKenna originally, but I think it sold out. And I don't know if they got the um, the Damascus one. Thanks, boss. I very much appreciate that. Oh, you got an ebony wood elementum. Yeah, I kind of wish I'd have done that, honestly. I, I like the look of the, the brown, but I just didn't think about it that I have a gent that's brown wood in there. Both in the same kind of size category. I should have got the ebony one. But I didn't. Oh well. Oh well. Even VG10 and the bird would be nice. Yeah, they never do VG10 in them. I think that they... But they do BD1. Isn't the... Or is it... Or is it BD2? What is the uh, Raven 2? I can't remember what the steel is on that. I wish they used that steel on this. Um... I had to order a Benchman and get your Smoky Mountain Knife Works coin. Oh yeah, I didn't do that. Yeah. Um, what's your opinion on backlocks? I like them good. I like them fine. Girl on the Edge, that is a very great, great username, by the way. I like them fine, uh, especially if you're, my son is a lefty, so he's a big fan of them because they're completely ambidextrous, you know, lock systems, so that's really cool. I already, I just hydrated, but I'll do it again. Mmm, cider. It's been very hot today the last few days. So cider is nice when it's really hot out. I like it for that. I have a stupid mosquito flying around in this place. If I burst into curses, it's not at you guys. It's at this God-blessed mosquito that's flying around here. You don't like the looks of the Warney Delica? I do when it's open. I don't like the looks of it when it's closed. I actually just uh, well, recorded the video on it, and I, that was the biggest complaint I have is when it's closed I really it's it's pretty ugly when it's closed I like the way it looks when it's open though I think it looks kind of like an evil little bird like an angry little starling how's the CRKT I really like it it's cool I'm still not sure what the price on it is I know that Smoky Mountain had these for 20 bucks in the black but they're they sold out very very quickly and now I see there's a green one back to the usual 50 they used to be um but even at the 50, I think it would be all right. At 50, that steel is a bit annoying. At 20, it was perfectly fine. But uh, the action on it is amazing. Yeah, it is 8CR still. And it looks like the green, more expensive one is also that. So I don't, 
I don't know. I have to do more research on that before I do the review on it. But I always like the TIE Fighter design. This is basically CRKT's version of the TIE Fighter. I had a Brian Tie and Friends TIE Fighter, the mid-tech one. I did sell it pretty quickly, um, partly just because I spent too much money at Blade Show. And, uh, and I bought it at Blade Show, and I um, made a hasty decision on what finish I wanted, and it just didn't, didn't grow on me. They only made 12 of them, so it's not like... It was uh, like I'm uh, talking smack about something that they still make. <laughs> I guess they only made 12 of them, and it just didn't didn't uh, didn't do it for me. What's the traditional up here? This is a Rough Rider long name something. I don't remember what it is, uh, but it's ten bucks. Ten dollars. So yeah, we're trying to keep some budget stuff out. So yeah, this is uh, this is pretty neat. I do like it. It's uh, very well finished for that price. I have to say. Not bad at all for a little traditional. Uh, I kind of like the CRT Caligo and the Ruger LCK, but I don't know about the ACR. Yeah, I, I think, was it the Caligo, that the Caligo, whatever, that they did it in um, D2? I meant to get one. You have the Civivian Gray. The Civivian Gray is even a better deal. That's only 50 bucks. It's crazy. Where is everyone? We got 43 on here. That's about average for when we first get started. That's about the average. Yes, mosquitoes do suck. I live in a very, very old house, and my office is in the attic, and I have one window that just doesn't seal up very well. And I used to tape it shut, but now I sometimes I do like it open, so I, I have to kind of deal with it. And I rent the house, so I can't just uh, start replacing windows, unfortunately. Yeah, this house was built in 1882, according to the internets. Have you held a CRK de CRKT deadbolt lock? Yeah, the first one they came out with, I did. Um, liked the lock. Didn't care that much for the knife. Because it was so huge. And really weird steel. But now I see they have another one. I don't know what the steel on that one is, but uh, I, may, I may try one of those out. Ordered a Keen on the 17th. It still has still nothing. Still hasn't shipped yet. Yeah. Sometimes drop isn't super, super fast with their shipping and stuff. Uh, Tucson Stargazer. I've never had a Tucson, but that is a that is a brand that I am uh, I, I may start may start reviewing because uh, people always ask whenever I talk about budget stuff, why don't you review Ganzos? Well, they still make copies. Uh, they are they won't stop and. No, I'm not going to review that. Same with uh, San Ramu. They said they were going to stop, and they haven't. So, um, I just don't, uh, I just don't, don't support companies that make copies. I'm not not going to do that. So, but Tucson, to my knowledge, does not. I'm sure that it's uh, going to. Um, I'm sure that Tucson's and lots of other companies are made. I know. I know this is made by San Ramu, but I know. But still. I don't want to support the brand name that does that. But Tucson seems to be all original designs. I haven't seen anything that stuck out to me as being a copy of anything. And I've heard great things about them. So looking into them may add them in. Oh, if it says shipped but no tracking info, uh, Keith, sometimes I've had stuff from Drop just show up where it said shipped but there was no tracking info and then it just showed up without the tracking info. Yeah, I'm definitely going to look into the look into the Tucson's. I'm sure I'll probably get one at some point. Have you tried the Seismic? Yeah, that's the one I reviewed. Um, it's back there somewhere. It was a, it was months ago. But if you Google Slicey Dicey Seismic, I'm sure you will find it. Liked the lock. Didn't didn't understand the knife. Um, you ordered a Viper Novus today, Green Mine Carter. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty nice. I think I'm just going to get a bottle of EDCI and get the Artisan Tomahawk as long as it's in stock when I go to SMKW. Yeah, they, they do a whole lot of Artisan stuff, don't they? I'm sure if it's going to be in stock anywhere, it would probably be there. And before anybody asks, because I've had a couple people who I've very much specified, I know I'm doing stuff with Smoky Mountain Knife Works this month, but uh, um, and I don't know what our relationship will be in the future, but um, the... Um, 
I'm always still going to do stuff with White Mountain Knives. They're awesome. Justin's a great, great dude. And that code will keep working, all that stuff. I'm just trying to get get my hands on as much stuff as I can. So it made sense to uh, try and hook up with more than one more than one retailer. Favorite bench made knife to date? Uh, either the Bug Out or the um, uh, or the uh, Super Freak. One of those two. Somebody asked above, do I still have my Anthem? I do, um, and I do love that too. Uh, might have to sell it this week. I had a very, very much, very surprised large bill that, <laughs> that showed up to this morning. Nice of them to uh, email you a bill on a Sunday. I was like that, telling me that I had to pay it tomorrow. So that was nice of them. I really do appreciate that. But um, may have to sell my anthem. I love it, but I I have so much stuff to carry, and it's it's very expensive. And I, you guys know me. I don't. I review a lot of expensive stuff, but I wind up not keeping it for very long. That's just kind of how I am. Here's just the bug out on the turret. I've never held the turret. It doesn't look like something I would like, though. But I've been surprised before. Um, how much? I don't know. I haven't put it up yet. I always give I always give my uh, um, Patreon supporters first dibs. So um, we we shall see. We shall see. Uh, I, I, will, I will let everyone know. But best place to find it, I'm, if I'm going to put it up for sale, be tomorrow morning, and it will be on my Instagram page. I usually put the really expensive stuff up on there. So uh, check that. Check out my Instagram page tomorrow morning, and we will see it. I'm not going to auction the anthem. I just have a feeling I would not get what I need to get out of it. <laughs> so um, Zach did give me a good deal on the anthem, and I'm going to pass on a good deal to somebody else, but I... I, I just can't really. We'll see. I have two knives I'm going to put up for sale. I'm really hoping the other one sells first so I can keep the Anthem. But uh, we will see. What's your favorite ZT? The 0562 tie, absolutely, is my favorite ZT I have ever held. And it's the only ZT I currently own? Yeah, it's the only ZT I currently own, actually. I mean, I got a Bird Blade Slim. I don't. I, was, I, I would like to have one, but I didn't. <laughs> Start the bidding at 200 for the anthem. Here we go again. Yeah, the anthem's an amazing knife, and I'm sure I'll, I'll miss it when it's gone, and I'll probably get another one sometime. But, you know, it's a production knife. I can get another one someday if I want to. That's how it goes. I don't get uh, emotionally attached to any knives. Maybe a little bit to ones that I know I can't replace, but other than that, they're knives. Got bills to pay. No, it's the real deal. It's an email. It's from USAA. I get bills from them just whenever it comes out. It's just whatever day of the month. It's a my very large car and house insurance bill, and because uh, I have a uh, I have a, a business out of my house, so my homeowner's insurance or renter's insurance is very high. Because I often have currently in my garage, I have about. $40,000 worth of other people's bicycles. So um, I I have really high homeowner's insurance, and I bought a new car. Well, my wife bought a new car, and it changed to the date of our insurance bill. So I was not expecting this bill until two weeks from now, and then I got it today due tomorrow. So that was kind of uh, annoying. So, yeah, the life of being self-employed, because I know I'm not getting paid tomorrow. USA is the best. The USA is the best, and I'm, I'm sure that they told me my date changed, and I just didn't notice it. You know, you're setting up your car insurance in the car dealer, you know, on your phone. I, I just, I was doing it on the app. I'm sure they warned me of that, and I just didn't see it. I miss things sometimes. Sometimes I don't see things, but uh, not selling the Atom. Yeah, I'm sure, like I said, Randy, I'm sure they told me before. But, yeah, I just didn't realize adding one car was going to change the due date for all my entire insurance policy. Yeah, but if SMKW has stuff on sale, you got to be careful. It might just be one of those one-day sales. They do flash sales every day, so it might have been a one-day. 
But I have heard of people getting bare knuckles for, for $55 lately, so that's probably where they, where they got them. You like the wood scales for them? Oh, yeah, those are awesome on the Instagram page. Those look pretty awesome. So I have budget knives sitting out here, but that's not, nothing about what we're talking about. <laughs> I, I, I knew it was going to be precarious at best that we would stick on a... No one tears, but I have one right here. I'm going to rotate knives out. That's one I have here set set to do. I'm not going to be reviewing any Ontarios during my uh, my little two weeks of budget stuff because um, I, I already have. So, yeah, they had one new model at, I guess it wasn't new. It was new to me, but I guess it came out several months ago um, at Blade Show, but I didn't get it. So, Bare Knuckle is fantastic. I just love the sound, these, these, uh, Ontario, the rat ones make. What about the assisted rat? That doesn't really appeal to me much. And um, I've mentioned before, um, New York State's laws about that kind of stuff are uh, pretty ambiguous at the moment. So, so I didn't uh, didn't get it. I don't know why you'd need an assisted rat though. This rocket's out. So the action on the manual ones are so good kind of fail to see why I would want an assisted just because the manual is so good you like best tech they have some great budget knives they do I've had a, I've had well, I've done lots and lots and lots of best tech reviews and I just uh I'm, I just got a uh um yeah malware that's not budget but your initials won me a freak from Zach Oh, really? How did that work? Interested to hear how that worked, Randy. Did I miss a giveaway or something? Um, you're late. What's the brew tonight? Tonight I'm drinking cider. Oh, you did a live giveaway? And I was, was, I, a, was I a trivia answer? I'm drinking rootstock cider. Ever handle a QSP piglet? No, but I do have... Don't remember the model name of it now. I'm gonna feel stupid. I have one Spidey pack full of budget stuff and I've got it open. So if you see me reaching for stuff, that's why I have, yeah, this QSP that I like a lot, but I am completely spacing on the name right now. I'm completely spacing on the model name of it, but I reviewed it. Parrot, Parrot, yes. That's what it is. The QSP Parrot. I do like the Parrot a whole lot. Very nice. I haven't carried it in quite a long while, but since I'm on this doing this budget kick for the next couple weeks, I'm sure it'll make it in my pocket a little bit. Uh, what are we going to move out of here? We'll move this out. I already reviewed it. Is anything on sale right now from me? I don't know. Tomorrow there might be stuff, but it's probably going to be up on the Instagrams first. So check out my Instagram, Slicey Dicey 75 because the two things I want to sell are pretty pricey, so uh, I will probably put them on the Instas. Ever touched the Best Tech Lion? I believe so. I don't think I did the review, but uh, I believe so. I do believe I've handled it, but I, I don't. It doesn't ring a bell at the moment. Not the Skaha too. Not selling that. Not selling that. I'm not dead yet. It's just a. It's just a car insurance bill. It's not a. I don't need a kidney. Yeah, I know knife sale is broken, but I've got a lot of followers on Instagram, so it's, it still works out all right. And the higher stuff. And they've created a new one now. It's NAF sale. K-N-A-F sale. And it's already almost as big as the knife sale one was. Yeah, and it's not broken. Somebody went through and reported a whole bunch of, reported like every single post, so it's blocked right now. Yeah. But the other one I'm selling, definitely not budget. I'm going to sell my Pena, I think. Yeah, I just don't. I love it. It's nice. It's very, very pretty, but uh, I just don't carry it. So I thought I carried a whole lot, but I don't. And it's uh, I have a lot of titanium frame lock folders, so had to let one go, and that's the one that I decided to let go. So I'll be putting that up there tomorrow too. And if you're not on Instagram and you want to know what the price of the stuff is, just email me. My email's down below, and. Um, and when, when, in the morning when I post my Instagram, I'll also let, let you guys know. Or look on the, uh, I'll put them on the uh, community page here too. What did I think of that a minute ago? I'm an idiot tonight. I'll post them on the community page. I'm probably not going to do like a whole for sale video. 
but uh, because I'm it's just a couple, but I'll put them on the uh, community page tomorrow. You guys can uh, can check that out. Best Tech Escra. If that's the one I'm thinking of, I really liked that too. They came out with a bunch of new stuff at Blade Show, so I, I, I my, my name may or my brain may be a bit scrambled and not know the names. But I think that was one of them that I really liked. I like the little one too. What's the little one? Tulip. That looks really cool. Thai framed lock. They make frame locks from Thai. Well, yeah. See Spider Co's latest? Which one is it? I don't know. Do they just release something new I didn't hear about or something? I don't think so. I haven't seen anything new from them since, you know, before Blade Show. Uh, the Australian guy. Parada? I don't know what that one is. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna look. Let's look and see. Of course, the last page I had open on my internet was ordering pizza this afternoon. From, is it Alistair? You said the Australian guy, so it's maybe, see, the Parada's not, that's not new, is it? I think I've seen that for a long time. I'm not looking at your comments right now, I gotta go back there. Yeah, I don't see any new Spider Co stuff. Um, oh, I always, I guess I just seen the announcement so much that I thought it was, uh, I thought it was old. Paul Alexander. It's not pretty, is it? 180 bucks, VG10. Someone wants to loan me one, I would try one out. That is probably not something I would buy. I don't think I'd buy Spider Co. VG10 for $180. Hawaiian pizza? No, I'm not a sociopath. Pepperoni, like a normal human being. Yeah, probably would be a good pizza cutter. Grandpa's old bench made 90-50 today. Cool. Grandpa was a badass. Rocking a 90-50. I had a similar one of those. I had the uh, uh, AFO, which was very, very similar to the 9050. Um, pizza must have meat. I don't. Want, I won't go that far. I, I, I like a good, good cheese pizza every now and then. But uh, yeah, pineapple. That's for that's for communists and sociopaths. Uh, you see, Mikey, you you had me, and then you said ranch. Uh, you probably spelled my name wrong, Nick, if you couldn't find me on uh, YouTube. It's B-R-Y-A-N Ball. Just search for Brian Ball to stand up. But only watch the recent one. Don't watch the old ones. Some of them are up there without my permission, and they're bad. I know Hawaiian has meat, but it's, it's also got pineapple on it, which is just not right. All right, can you name the knives on the table? We'll try to. This is a new one. I have the review coming out of this next week sometime. This is the new uh, Steel Will Chatbot. They write the names on the knives, which is so nice for people like me with a memory of a goldfish. Kind of a more tactically sort of knife in their D2 lineup. I think this is in the 50-something dollar range. Maybe 60, I don't remember. Um, very nice deep carry clip with flush screws. I have not carried it once yet. I, I just got it uh, yesterday. That's kind of cool. And uh, Dragonfly, Warrencliffe, the Sierra KT, TyTac 2, QSP Parrot, as someone just informed me because I couldn't remember. Bird Harrier 2, Kubi something. They have some, it, it's all letters and numbers. I, I don't remember what that is. And um, Ontario Rat Model 1. Is Steel Will Cold Steel? No. I don't know if that was a joke I didn't get or something. I actually like the white veggie thin crust Wegmans pizza. That is pretty good, actually. We get that sometimes. Because my wife and daughter are both vegetarians. Have you been carrying the mini tasso much? Yeah, I have. 
it's uh it's pretty cool i, I do like the uh mini tassel very much actually i have it should be right here because i just had it on like thursday yeah there it is I'm very bad about putting my knives back in their cases, so if I carried it in the last week or so, it's probably laying around on my desk somewhere. But, uh, yeah, I really like it. I did sell the large one. You guys know I auctioned it off for charity and stuff, but uh, I really like the mini one. I think the action on this one is actually better than the large one. I don't know if maybe that was just because it was uh, um, the very, very first of them. But, uh, yeah. Any autos? The only auto I have is uh, a ProTech uh, SBR. Uh, because I'm not allowed to carry them in my state, so I can only carry it, like, around my house. But, uh, ProTech, I told them I wanted to do some more autos, and they were nice enough to send me one. And they never said whether I could keep it or not, and I'm just, I'm just not asking. So, uh, if they ask for it back, I'll send it back. But, <laughs> they haven't asked yet. I was gonna send it, actually, I was honestly gonna send it on to some other reviewers. And all my reviewer friends have already reviewed it. So, uh, I, I, ha I haven't yet. <clears throat> And once it leaves my house, it can't come back because uh, they do get confiscated sometimes in New York. But actually, I have it because it's one of my houses. I or houses, one of my knives I use around the house the most. So it's my favorite knife I own. I'm not really sure right now. Uh, it changes. Um, probably my ZT0562 tie or my Chavez Ultramar. One of those two, probably. I've been on a big knife kick lately. A bulky like knife kick but um i'm sure that will pass and i will like other stuff better i get to play with too much stuff so hello a ray um uh, if you send it somewhere you'd send it to a tester i mean those the hrc tester things i think they did test some protex and i'm not going to send a knife that i don't own to go get a dent put in it I would have sent you the Mordax, but you're one of the reasons I bought it. Yeah. My, um, my, uh, um, I'll send, I'll send you the SBR, Zach, if you want to. Um, yeah, still uh, BP69. I, that puts a lot of stress on stuff. It's not my knife. I'm not going to send it to Steve or Outpost and have it. They do great work, but it's going to get beat up and it's not mine. So I'm not going to do that. They told me I could use it, but I think that's uh, that's uh, beyond the definition of what they can send her, or what they can send her, what they consider. I'm a mush mouth tonight. What they consider use on something I'm getting into review. So, have you used the Ger Gerber jukebox? Yeah, I've not. I have it here around here somewhere, but no, I haven't I haven't done anything with it yet. Uh, what's the next knife you're looking to buy for yourself? Man, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I have a lot of loner stuff coming that I think I'm probably going to buy one of them, um, depending on what kind of, uh, um, what color it comes in. I may buy the one that's sent to me, but the new, um, Hinderer, uh, Eclipse 3, the Eclipse 3.0, the three inch one, that's very, very, very tempting to me. I could definitely see buying that unless it comes in a hideous color. And then I'll just, I might buy another one if I really, really like it. <laughs> You're not going to get that awesome new ZT? Uh, no. No. Thanks, Lavender Pants. I appreciate it. And yes, you're right. We agree on that, that the Elementum is uh, definitely way different than the uh, Gent. It really is. I, I already compared them in the video, so I'm not going to put them side by side again. But, uh... It's a way different knife. In a glance, they look similar. The Microlith looks cool. Yes. Yes, Kyle, that does look very cool. Is that one of the Titax from SMKW for 20 bucks? Yes. I think they're out of them now, though, right? But uh, I don't know how they got them. I got it. It came without a box, too. So I don't know. It must have been something, some deal they had with CRKT. But it has speed holes. Yeah. I've already got a, a knife I like with speed holes. I only need one. <laughs> well, I imagine they did sell it in like five minutes because it's really cool. The action on these things is amazing. 
for 20 bucks, that would have been a steal. Even at 50, the action on it makes it about worth it. And it carries really nice. Flush pocket screws, flush clip, all that stuff. It's very comfortable in the hand. It's a bit big, but man, I like it. I like it a whole lot. I have to say, I had the uh, mid-tech Titac 2. This is more comfortable in the hand, and the action is just as good. Thank you, New Spin Era. I appreciate that. Yeah, the Super Chat is open if you guys want to click on that. That's always appreciated. Yeah, the carbon fiber microlith does look really cool. I like that Kaiser's doing all that car that carbon stuff. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, very, very, uh, very excited to see that. Are you still planning on picking up an area someday? Maybe. But, you know, uh, I, I, I want to... It, I would either get that or a Holt Spectre if I was to buy another really high-end knife, but um, I'm trying to get this channel going. I know that sounds silly because I, I do have it very, very happy with the amount of followers that I have, but I always want more. And uh, that requires spending some money on knives every now and then. So uh, it's kind of hard for me to have a $600 knife for myself um, that's not going to be worth reviewing again, you know? Thanks, Rob. Appreciate it. Greetings from Australia, West Coast. Hello, how you doing, man? It is what? It is. I'm going to show my knowledge of world time. It must be, um, what, 10.30 in the morning over there? 9.30 in the morning? Oh, it's T-Series. I don't know what that is. Um, Real Steel has been catching my eye. Is it good? Yeah, Real Steel has always been good. Terra is awesome, too, yes. Still have the Real Steel glow-in-the-dark CDs? No, I, I did sell it, but um, I, I do like it. But I think if I got another one, um, I, I would get the uh, copper. Only because the, um, the, the glow on the glow-in-the-dark CDs worked so good that I would go to bed and take it out of my pocket and like set it down if I had been outside in the sun and it glowed and annoyed me while I was trying to sleep. <laughs> so that's that's honestly the reason why I didn't keep it. I would have rather had the copper shred one. <laughs> Zach's going to eat some Hawaiian pizza like a sociopath. It, uh, yeah, he's a... I really, really respected Zach up until now. So, uh, RIP my respect for Zach. Next thing you know, he's going to say he puts ranch on his chicken wings. Ugh, ranch is disgusting. It's blue cheese. Blue cheese only for pizza and chicken wings. Yes, Vivi is pretty. Like I said in the review, there's one little void in the wood, but it's wood. That happens. Can't get too wound up about that. But Oh, somebody asked a while ago. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to ignore you. Somebody reminded me because I was talking about wood. Um, I didn't review any GECs. What happens with the GECs is every time I find one that I want, it sells out before I get my hands on it. So I just... I don't want to get one that I don't want to keep. So um, even though I know they, you can flip them for a whole lot of money, I probably should. It would almost be like an investment. But you guys know, even when I sell rare stuff on here, I don't gouge people for it. and So I just feel kind of weird about. I don't like blue cheese either. I don't like either of them. I don't like blue cheese or ranch. But I just, I, I just, I'm from New York. You're supposed to use blue cheese, not ranch. I'm not from freaking Pennsylvania. How do you like that Rough Rider? Um, this this one's really good. I really like this one. I have not carried the copper one at all. So um, uh, I've been very busy the past couple days. but uh, And I wanted to get the Harrier out first. So, uh, But this one's very nice. I mean, it's not perfect in fit and finish, but it ain't bad. It's $10. $10. Don't expect perfection for 10 bucks, and you will not be disappointed. It's uh, But it's pretty darn good. I mean, I've had cases that were not finished as good as this. I know for sure I have a $130 case. I have a case Sodbusters, the, the uh, blue, um, 
the blue a synthetic handle one and uh it was garbage and i sent it back and i got one that was slightly less garbage so uh yeah it's pretty good i've had a lot of really nice cases too i don't mean to bang on case but just giving you an example of uh more expensive knives i've gotten that weren't weren't as good knife you sold you miss most um currently it would be uh the um my uh spider co shaman i think is the one I missed the most that I sold at this particular moment. Oakley Crankshaft. Yep, those, those are my usual sunglasses. I was not wearing those today, though. Today I was wearing... I don't know what model these are. I was... Uh, Wardens, because I went out last night and I was wearing, like, brown stuff, and these match. These are really flashy and weird, and I don't always wear them, but uh, these were actually... I bought these for my father because uh, he wanted this color. It's, he specified. And then... Um, uh, he passed away, and I uh, got them back, I guess. I can't guess I got them back because I bought them for him. But um, I do really like these a lot, too. Uh, do you EDC a flashlight? Sometimes, not, not always. Rare, rarely in the summer because I try and keep my pockets light. And um, But when I do, it's uh, um, the uh, mass, one of the mass drop uh, AAA ones, or I have an Olight, um, S2 Baton, I think everybody does, I think you're issued one of those when you become a YouTuber, and, um, Microtech MicroStream, and another larger Mass Drop one, too. Thank you, 4294 Dave, I appreciate that. Oakley Turbines, yeah, those are, the turbines are pretty cool, too, they just don't look good on my face. Not get in on the Olight freebie, no, I didn't, I didn't do that. Probably Hawaiian pizza cutter. Yeah. <laughs> pizza cutter, Swiss Army knife should be trademarked. So how do I gate keep blue cheese versus ranch and you don't eat either? Because my hypocrisy knows no bounds. That is why. If I'm forced to eat one, though, I prefer blue cheese. I have, I will eat blue cheese, but I just don't care for it. But I really hate ranch. Favorite knife under 50 bucks? Um, I would say, oh, well, that's just over 50. Is the uh, Saviti Backlash still under 50? If that's still under 50, then yeah, that one. A couple of Olights, they're great wait for the sales. Yeah, they do a whole lot of sales. They do a whole lot of sales. Rat 2 is also very good. Yeah, that Olight Freebie light is cool. I've almost actually bought that one. I had one of those tiny little Olights, the keychain ones, and I lost it. And then, um, oh, I just lost a knife this week, too. I think I think it's in my car, but I haven't. It was going to require, like, taking the seat out to find it, but... um. Lost my uh, Ferrum Forge Ruck, my little copper Ferrum Forge Ruck that was on my keys. I had it on one of those magnetic things like an idiot, and it's never, ever, ever failed me. I've never had anything ever come off that little magnetic thing. And um, it did somewhere. But I only went, I left the house, I went to one place, I came home. I wasn't even home yet. I was halfway home and I realized it wasn't on my keys. I went back to the place I went, it wasn't where I was, it wasn't in the parking lot. So I'm pretty sure it's in my car, but who knows? I do have the Night Eyes locking S beaners as well, but uh, another company that shall remain nameless sent me um, nameless until I have time to do the review, and I say that it made me lose my knife or my yeah, they had a uh, I guess sent me some of those magnetic ones, and they worked really really good, but um, up until that point, but yeah, I think it's between the car seat. I'm pretty sure. I think I remember getting in the car and realizing I still had my keys in my pocket and I had to do that wiggle thing. In my car? Do you mean my car da? No, my my car's plain old black. If it was brown, I might call it my car da, but it isn't. It's just plain old black. It's actually super black. I'm I'm in the process of blacking everything out for it. I actually gonna get black uh logos for it and everything. 
I just want it to be as black as I can make it. But still shiny black. I don't do the matte black thing. Murdered out, y'all. Yep. And then after I completely black it out, I might put some graphics on it. I don't normally like graphics on cars, but I have a, uh, I have a Volkswagen Golf, and uh, there's a Golf, uh, like, modding place here in town, and their, like, demo car has these really awesome graphics just on, like, the back third of it, and it looks really, really cool. I'm tempted by it. I'm tempted by the, uh, these graphics. They're just, like, a bunch of, um, uh, like, trapezoidal kind of shapes. They look, they look pretty cool. You have any interest in fixed blades? Uh, not particularly. I'm gonna try to, though, uh, USA Made Blade insists on sending me one that they sell, and I'm gonna try it out, and I have a few. I have three. I have three, but I never carry them. I have one that lays, um, next to my bed. I've got a big SOG seal pup I was issued in the military that's next to my bed. I have one smaller Sierra KT fixed blade of some kind that I bought back in the day, and um, I don't remember what the other one is. But I have seen a few that do appeal to me, but I don't like carrying them. I just can't, uh, I don't like stuff sticking out around my belt like that. I just don't like it. And my particular town uh, kind of frowns upon you uh, open carrying something like a fixed blade. Can you put one expensive knife on the table? Maybe just one. What do we have here? Let me look and see. Oh, here's what was in my pocket today. We'll put that one out here. This qualifies as expensive. This is the, uh, it's available on Mass Drop right now. You can pre-order and get 20 bucks cheaper. This is that, uh, the Trizula Tanto new one. This thing is awesome. I do have to say, I was not expecting to like this this much. This is, uh, this is really cool. I very much like it. I don't even care that it's a Tanto. I still, Tanto, Tanto, whatever. I love it. Ergos are awesome. Action is awesome. Very, very good. Well, if you're not a fan of, a fan of Thumb Dicks, Thumb Dicks? Wow, I can't believe I just said that. That's gonna, that's one for the blooper reel. If you're not a fan of thumb discs, this is also a flipper. You can just take it off. It attaches. <laughs> it's a detachable thumb appendage. But I uh, know I really do like that. Misheard knife reviews. <laughs> yeah. This is this is a live reenactment of misheard knife reviews. <laughs> oh, I'm a silly boy tonight. I don't know why I'm so mush mouth today. I think it's because I recorded um, three podcasts and like three knife videos on Friday and I just talked too much. And the whole rest of this, that was like, I basically was talking for 10 hours straight and by Friday night my voice was shot and I've been a complete mush mouth mumbly person ever since. <laughs> I'm I'm seeing some of your comments, but the but the YouTube isn't showing them to everybody because they because of my uh my my slip of the tongue was a swear. I do need more cider. They're right. That's what the problem is. English, I speak no good. Yeah. And then I laughed a whole lot last night, so that didn't help my voice either. My son did a very silly thing last night, and um. It was amazing, but I, I will get to make fun of him about it for the rest of his life. So if you guys are, uh, respond if any of you guys are wrestling fans, because only, only wrestling fans are going to know what this was, but uh, he did something uh, funny on stage with a wrestler last night, and it was hilarious. Um, how many comedy games did you do in a month? God, I don't know if you count. Um... <laughs> Hey, Ray, that's very, very funny. Um, not counting open mics, like actual paid ones. I don't know. Five or six? Something like that. Uh, 
<laughs> Thumbs up eggplant. I can't believe I said that. That that is one that is my best my best blooper I've ever made. I have been the last couple months trying to save some of my bloopers for you guys to make a blooper reel for like Christmas time. Uh it's gonna be very sweary, but some of it was so sweary that I don't even want to put it up at all. Um and uh so I'm gonna but I'm trying to pick out ones that aren't as as sweary. All the swearing is directed at myself, but I get so mad at myself sometimes. I get so angry at myself. Because I just, I get, I don't like to edit videos. It takes too long. So, I and I keep my videos fairly short anyway. So, oh man, it's so, 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 um frustrating when you get eight minutes into a 10 minute video and then you just completely forget something and start all over again just beep it out no it'd be obvious it'd be obvious what the words were there's one particular word i say a lot that i don't want to i don't want to put on the internet it's not it's not a racial slur or anything like that it's just a word that people don't really like so i'm not going to use that put it up they let steve say whatever because steve's not monetized that's why he can say whatever he wants Yeah. Yeah, something like that, Taz. It's a word that I I don't even I think I've said it on stage twice. I don't usually even say it on stage, but mm. for every four or five words you get out of the shot freeze in the audio goes so I go. Sorry about that, man. Seems to be working for everybody else. Sorry, August. I know my, I keep my little monitor open and it's, uh, it's going good. It's not like your main audience is under 18. Yeah, but, uh, YouTube doesn't care about that. So see, the problem is when you're reviewing knives, YouTube basically has this unofficial kind of, they have a real three strike policy and that's for when you really violate their terms. But even their algorithm looks at your videos to find potentially offensive comments or content. Um, and reviewing knives, that's one right off the bat. So all of us that are doing knife reviews already, their algorithm has a reason not to like us. So I try not to do any huge swears, you know, really weird things. Like I put up, like, I can't, you guys noticed I call all my, uh, all my comparison tests battle to the death. I can't put that in the title or in the, uh, in the description or they demonetize the video because it says death and knives in the same thing. So I can't do it. I tried, I put up the we malice and I wrote we knives malice and it flagged it before I put it up. I had to remove the word knives out of it. So I just had to put we malice and then it was fine. But knives and malice together tripped their thing. So it's, it's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, yeah. Some of the old comics got away with a lot, but uh, you know what? It's a uh, a lot of what they were doing is not in that era. It doesn't seem as offensive anymore. I guess like the, a lot of the racial stuff and stuff was offensive, but um, I just was watching Eddie Murphy's special, uh, watching Eddie Murphy Raw back the other day because he's they Netflix paid him seventy million dollars to do another comedy special, so I w went back to go watch Raw and I hadn't seen it in forever. And man, that does not hold up in today but a lot of the old guys their stuff it really isn't that offensive but uh yeah eddie murphy won it. it's still funny but yeah he could not get away with that today he's not gonna be doing those same jokes again in his new special i can tell you that yeah doug stanhope hey i've i've met doug several, watched doug a few times yeah he gets away with everything he's fine and you know louis ck got away with horrible things until you know he decided to uh you know whip his thumb out and uh then <laughs> then things got then things got bad. Um but yeah, I mean God Louis C.K. got away with horrible stuff in his in his act. Yeah, Red Fox was great. I always liked Red Fox a lot. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're right. Yeah. The um the algorithms are really weird now. Ah, eight forty eight in the morning. I feel like I need that dragonfly, but I already have him with the leaf shape blade. It is I don't I, I liked the leaf shape one. Um I still wish it wasn't VG ten. I, I wish it was a different steel. I don't I'm not a fan of Spider Co's VG ten, but for the kind of stuff I use it for, it'll be fine. And for size comparisons, it'll still work. So do you post stand up videos? Somebody just asked I've I've only got one up that I use to send to promoters and stuff, but um I don't like to post stuff on YouTube because people steal it. But if you uh, Google Brian with a Y, B R Y A N B A L L, stand up, you'll find it. Only watch the new one, though. I feel like a lot of guys clean stuff up for specials, but feel like sellouts and go back to the comedy store. Well, you, you gotta for not. It depends on where the where the network is, and it depends on that where the gig is. I I do I have to work clean sometimes. I and I'm not a dirty comic. I'm I'm dark. But I don't do dirty, um, really. Uh, hydrate, yes. I don't. I don't do like a lot of you know, <laughs> thumb jokes, or anything like that. But um, that's just gonna be my word now for that for that part of anatomy. Although it's kind of insulting to myself, but yeah, it, it's just funny. That's just funny now. Um, but uh, yeah, like you do corporate gig, I gotta work clean. You know, sometimes. I'm opening for somebody and that guy says, hey, could you not do this joke? It's a bit too dark or whatever. You got to work for, you got to work for the room. You got to work for the place. You got to work for the network. Oh, those thumb discs. The biggest thumb disc you ever saw. Um, fan of Joe Coy. I don't know who that is. So I guess I'm going to have to say no, because I don't know who it is. Let me show Marvelous Miss Mabel. I've never watched it. I, I, I've heard I've heard it's good. I've had other comedian friends say it's good. I just didn't, um, I've never checked it out yet. I was, I don't watch Amazon a lot. Although I did just watch, um, in the last couple of weeks, uh, Good Omens. That was okay. It was good. Doctor Who being a demon in it, so that was fun. It wasn't the best thing I've ever seen, but it was fine. What's the blue knife? It's on drop. It's uh, the new Terzula Compact Tactical Folder Tanto. And right now, if you pre-ordered, I think... I don't know when the pre-order runs up on it. The pre-order, it's 20 bucks cheaper. I know it was under 200 bucks for this version. Uh, and then there's a Fancy Pants Carbon one, too. Yeah, BD, it still didn't work. It still, it still hid your comment. <laughs> I appreciate the effort, though. Did all those... I think, I, think Mur I think Eddie Murphy has enough money to never do anything ever again. I think he just... Uh, but he, he'd mentioned before, he was on Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee that was filmed months and months months ago it actually just came out but he filmed it months and months ago and he said he wanted to yeah he said he was bored and he wanted to and then um netflix threw 70 million dollars at him so seven zero million dollars for one special Chappelle got i think Chappelle got 20 for three yeah i think it was 20 for three he got 70 for one. One. Uh, what's the sliciest knife I own? Let me think. Um, hmm. TRM Adam would be up there pretty high. Um, I don't know. That's the one that comes to mind right now. One of my Civivis with the really, it's really super thin behind the edge. Thanks, Rob. David Attenborough just got a similar deal from Netflix. Yeah, but he's doing like a whole series. Code 4, yeah, that's a good one too. That's probably very, very slicey. That's very, very slicey also. Yeah. A mini striker for 100 bucks. I know I've never had the, that one. Never had a 903. If Zach was still on here from Zach's stuff, he's off eating communist pizza. But if he uh, 
Mr. Weiner, he could tell you a lot about it. Did you ever check the Spidey Chef behind the edge measurements? I did. I put it in the review, but the one that I had had been sharpened by somebody else, so it wasn't probably wasn't super accurate. Does he have a time frame he has to deliver the special? I, I don't know, but they said it was supposed to come out next year, so yeah. I don't know when he's recording or anything, but it's supposed to come out in 2020. They didn't list a quarter or anything like that. I just saw the article in Variety. Yeah, I read Variety. I'm in show business. Barely in show business, but I do read Variety for a, for a show that I do. Because I have to know about stuff that's going on there. 70 million is I don't care, I'm out of here money. Yeah, it is, uh, it is effort money, absolutely for sure. And cut yourself multiple times when I say, as we all have, we all have, Willie. We could, we could start a support group. I'm sure all of us have cut ourselves many, 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 many times. Uh, actually, what do I have any fresh ones? I do this one. I did this cutting open uh, the box of stuff I got from SMKW with um, a knife I'm still not allowed to tell you guys about. I'll tell you about it on August 4th. Um, but yeah, got myself pretty good with that one. Yes, a knife isn't yours until it draws blood. It's like, what is it? Wasn't it Samurai had that rule? Like every time you, every time you pulled your sword, you had to draw blood. You couldn't put it back in. And he could buy a lot of knives, seventy million. He doesn't picture me as a knife guy, though. He doesn't picture me as an anything kind of guy. I don't think he has a lot of cars or anything like that. Worst non-knife related cut in ever. Uh. I tore my knee open on a mountain bike trail one time. I had to sew it back up myself. Um, that sucked. Um, I didn't have to do it myself, but my buddy was an army medic that was riding with me, and he had a whole, the whole kit with him. And it was bleeding pretty good, and it clearly needed stitches. And we were like 10 miles from the car, and we were out in the middle of nowhere. And I said... He goes, well, I'm just going to stitch you up. I said, no, you're not. You're going to tell me how to stitch myself up. I'm not letting you do it. So I uh, stitched, stitched myself up. Um, I had 15 stitches in my chin when I was 12 years old, but I don't rem remember a whole lot about that. Chainsaw, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's not good. That's not great. Oh, in between your fingers. God, that... That's painful. That's painful just to hear about. That's nasty. The worst. Um, oh, thank you. You're you're welcome, sir. Uh, I was not a uh, in the army. I was Air Force, but yeah, he was an army medic. But um, uh, worst knife cut I got was uh, this one, and it was when I first started the channel, and I still can't crack this knuckle. Um, that one I should have gone to the hospital for. I think that nicked a tendon, but um, it was uh. A Viper Dan, um, that one of their big slip joint things, and I was trying to get it apart, and one of the screws snapped, which is why you've never seen a review of it, and uh, one of the screws snapped, and it went, my hand just went, dunk, and just nailed it, and uh, yeah, the Viper bit me, and it, uh, I knew immediately it was very, very bad, because it didn't hurt. You know, the ones that don't hurt, then you know, like, oh, that's not good. My thoughts on the Viper Balone. I would like to get one. I keep meaning to, and then I get other stuff. Um, I haven't had good luck with Viper quality-wise, so I'm a bit, a, bit, a bit leery of it. But, um, and yeah, I have a Viper Bite, so, <laughs> as we just talked about. How many knives do you have? I don't know. Um, 50? 40? somewhere between 35 and 50. A lot of them I don't even remember that I have because if it's like really cheap budget stuff, I don't, I just keep it around for giveaways and stuff. So I kind of, I don't really consider those to be mine. Of my knives uh, that I consider to be mine, um, yeah, probably about 30, 35. So is the wood decent on the aluminum? It's, it's pretty good. Um, like I said in the review, I had one little mark in it. But other than that, it's really nice. And that it looks good. But yeah, is that one little one little dingy in it? See you later, Keith. Have a good one. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up pretty quick. It has been an, an hour. So uh 
You 75 got you beat. Yeah, I gotta feed the beast, man. I can't keep everything. I think when this channel started, I had more knives than I do now, to be honest with you. I think I started, maybe not right when I started, but I think after the first like four or five months, I had a ton. And as the channel goes down, I keep whittling the amount of knives down. Isn't that, that seems like a reverse thing that you should do, but it's just, I get, I have fewer and fewer as time goes on. Is that knife you can't talk about expensive or budget? Um, it's, I would say it's betwixt. I would say it's betwixt the two. My son makes fun of me whenever I say betwixt. I'm sorry. I, I, I just talk. I like old timey words sometimes. Later, you sent me a couple pictures of the stargazer. Cool. Thanks, Rob. Appreciate that. Oh, cool. My bike business just sent me some money. That's nice. Um, yeah, somewhere around there. I think it is. I don't remember exactly how much it was. Um, yeah, I will say that, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's something that somebody quit making and people said they wanted it back and they're going to make it again. So, uh, and I had never handled one before, so I thought it was pretty cool that they're bringing it back. My worst was from the Perpetual. You sold me. You had a big hole. Oh, yeah, I remember you said you dropped it on your foot. <laughs> My curse worked. I sacrificed four newts to make sure that happened. I spoke to the Dark Lord. I said, please, Dark Lord, let Jake drop this knife upon his foot. You're, uh... Oh, you're 19, so you can afford 75 knives. And my son's 20, and he couldn't afford 75 knives. And he ain't got no bills. He still lives here. He's right down the hall. I could yell at swear words at him, and he'd hear me. Almar? No, it's not an Almar. If you're talking about the one I'm, that's coming out that I can review. Nope. It's from a company we're, we're all familiar with. <clears throat> but they had discontinued something, and I guess people wanted it back, so... Uh, cider. Cider makes me happy. Not Spiderco. I'm not going to say anymore. It's, it's not really not that big a deal. It's, it's not like an earth-shattering thing, but a company told me it was embargoed until the 4th, so... <clears throat> Pick up the shark work you do, bud. I'll be notified on the next one. See you later, Chris. Thanks for coming out, man. I appreciate it. Did you have to get stitches from that Jake's Knives, by the way, from my the Perpetua I cursed and sent to you? I'm glad I didn't um, lick the blade. I might have given you an infection of some kind. Like, what is it? The uh, Those uh, Komodo dragons? That their saliva just is, was more dangerous than their bite. <clears throat> and uh let's see still got 63 on here wow it's awesome yeah the toxins but like they don't produce toxins it's like a mix of all the stuff they eat i think i saw that on a callback david attenborough thing um i think it was yeah something about, like the mix of what all they eat when their saliva becomes toxic but they don't actually secrete toxins if i remember correctly I know it was disgusting when it was described. That's how the zombie apocalypse starts. Yep. Yep. That says how it starts. It's by me sending out cursed knives that I've licked. And turn you all into YouTube watching zombies like me. No, it's not Kershaw. Yeah, it's disgusting stuff. See you later, Cathartic. Well, I think I'm going to wrap this up. I try and keep these right around an hour so that theoretically people will watch them later on and not see an hour and a half long video. And um, not going to do that. Send me a cursed anthem. Hey, look at look on my Instagram in the morning and look on the... Uh, community page that's my that's my that's the hand signal for community page on the community page here 
I'll be posting a couple knives for sale, maybe three or four, but nothing more than that. So, uh, hope you guys all had a good time. No, it's not a sleep buoy too. Oh, I'd, I'd be, I wouldn't be able to keep my mouth shut about that. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed this and next week we'll be doing this very same thing. I don't think I'm out of, am I out of town next week? No, it's the weekend after I'm out of town. So next week we'll be doing it. Weekend after that, I'm out of town with my wife going to Montreal and, um, then, uh, yeah, back to the regular schedule. Thanks a lot everybody, for coming out, everybody, and I very much appreciate the Super Chat stuff. That's always awesome. Have a good one.